What are you doing here? Vanitas Vanitatum et Omnia Vanitas. Your father was a great man. You didn't answer my question. What are you doing here? We're on the boundary of two worlds. Amid human ashes, this is a wonderful place to contemplate the future. Your father considered himself Polish. Your mother was Russian. And you grew up in France. Who are you, Victor? I'm a thaumaturge. I also think that it's our nature that defines us, and not the place where our mothers brought us into this world. And what natures do those others have? The people around you, you've gathered them, us, intentionally. Everyone has a goal. We're only yet another stopover on someone's journey. And sometimes our paths lead in the same direction. Mine leads to the court of Nikolai Romanov. I need to save the Tsarevich because I believe that only then can we have a future. I can help him. Do you believe me? I'd like to believe. I know that you're helping me and I have a debt towards you, but I also have my doubts. How can I dispel them? It feels like you know things I haven't told you. I can't be sure what you're telling me consciously, and which ones only during our sessions. It's hard to trust someone who goes into your head without you knowing what he does in there. That didn't bother you before. You invited me in yourself, remember? You yourself opened your mind to me. I told you I hadn't investigated my power myself. It's a gift. I usually help those who believe. Do you believe now? I can see what you're doing. You want to create a cult. Therefore, your eyes deceive you. People flock to me on their own, and I simply do not push them away. We all share the same goal. Anything else? Why are you visiting the Church of St. Mary Magdalene? I pray there. But Lazarev showed it to me. He believes in my mission and revealed that the Tsarina sometimes goes there. Does that have anything to do with Kiryu? Where do you know him from? I've also been to the church to pray. No, he doesn't matter here. What worried you? There are people who don't have entirely flattering opinions about you. They say you might be dangerous. What people? Do you know them? Everyone has opinions about you, or about other thaumaturges, Jews, women, American Indians, or about Christ himself. What have you heard about me that's starting to frighten you? Have you heard about my wife? Maybe that I abandoned her for orgies and feasts? Or maybe you should just go ahead and ask me directly. Have you heard about my want in life? I don't judge anyone by who they sleep with, or how often. What else have you heard, and from whom? From the Petersburg Ochrana and its agents? From newspapers written under the strictures of Tsar's censorship? What else? That's all. See, I think I've dispelled all your doubts. Think what we can achieve, Victor, if you just come with me. Imagine that the thaumaturgical knowledge of the whole Russian Empire will be at your fingertips. As long as Alexei Romanov is healthy. What will happen if I refuse? I'll try without you, and I'm sure I won't succeed. I'll go down in everyone's memory as a charlatan madman and devil spawn. But I'll try nevertheless. 
Slander, calumny, and lies are a small price to pay to save the future. I believe God will reward my efforts. Of course, I'll have to focus harder on my mission than on you and your needs. Do you have a clear enough picture now to make your decision? I need time. You've hurt me, Victor. And after everything I've done for you so far. Come back when you're ready. Once you're on that path, there's no turning back. You know where to find me. Look, Doubting Thomas has returned. I'm sure he wants something. I've been thinking about what you said. You'll only show up when you want something from me. And when I ask for something minor, you refuse. How am I supposed to trust you? I came to make an agreement. I'm all ears. Enough of these little games. You admitted it yourself. Without me, you won't get anywhere anyway. <sighs> Nor I without you. Your insolence knows no bounds. If your confession isn't sincere, atonement is impossible. You'll accept me with open arms. Help me and we'll forget the matter. And I'll help you with whatever you want. All right. Let's go back to how we were before, friend. Can we go? The church is waiting. I'll leave you alone. I've got business to get back to. Go in health, friend. Can we go? The church is waiting. Fine, let's go. Finally. Victor, it's about to start. Strange. I don't remember the way here. Not at all. Should I be nervous, friend? No. It doesn't matter. I can deal with anything. Quiet there. You're not in a barn. 
the Patriarch Kiru will soon begin an exorcism on a certain boy. I know that you and Kiru have a past. Why are we here, of all places? Not in the least. Remember, revenge is foreign to me, Victor. It's not about Kirill. Though, if by chance he trips up today, that would make me immeasurably happy. Unlike Kirill, I really do want to heal a boy who is suffering. The people must understand that I am the truth. And what then? Then, all that's needed is for what happens here to reach the right ears. Off to the market with you! Don't bother folks here! Now I would like you to look around and determine how to prepare the miracle of healing. Go now. What's my role in all this? The church is a divine stage. The sort I need to perform on to produce the right impression. People will see me today as a miracle worker. What's your role in this? You're a thaumaturge. Help me do it. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. I felt something. Where is it? Yushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. You're back after all. You'll soon see the power of God. Hey, you. Why did you harm Cartafel? He said it really hurts now. I didn't mean to. I didn't. I was angry. Papa didn't come back from the war. I know you destroyed a holy image. Do you want to go to hell? N no. I got scared. Mama? Is he your son? Why did you bring him here? What business is it of yours? The devil needs to give my son back. He's got me scared to sleep under my own roof. Why? <laughs> he won't shut up about phantoms, and he lies and makes stuff up. And he holds and holds. But Yushka, faster, have mercy. I'll go take a look around. Go, but don't waste time. <laughs> but Yushka, can we please start? Patience, daughter, and humility. Keep praying. Hey, you. I've heard 
said you were a liar. No, I don't lie. That's not true. Then that you scare your mama making things up. Not true. I want to go home. Don't get close to him. It's the devil speaking through him. He'll tell you anything to save himself. What's making him upset? If I took it away... But Kiro told me to move away before it opened completely. Don't dwell on it. It's good news. Let's get closer to God. Especially since it's a little too loud here. Thanks be to God. They're going somewhere else to talk. Princeps Miliete Caliestes defende nos in Proelio. Down with the evil spirit. I drive you out in the name of Christ. Priest! Leave that child alone. You stand in defense of Satan. He's not a child, he's a devil. Mama! You're causing a child unnecessary suffering. He needs a different kind of help. True help. My help. Quiet, don't scream. I'm not going to do anything to you. Mama! Mama! Help! <laughs> he sees you as I do. That only means one thing. Hey, don't cry, all right? How about we talk? Have you ever seen a ghost or a monster? One like him? Once. One was in the wardrobe, the other in the kitchen. I'm scared of them. Have you told anyone about this? My mama and the priest. Am I going to hell? Calm down, everything's alright. No one's taking you to hell. I see ghosts too. Sometimes they even help me. Why did God do this to us? Doesn't he like us? God isn't the one who thinks we're bad. It's the people who don't have our power. <laughs> they don't understand us, so they're afraid. And that makes them angry. Will this take much longer? Kirill is about to declare me anathema. How can it be that he's crying here? He's a Thaumaturge. I didn't know that earlier. Do you see yourself in him? Do you want to help him because no one helped you? What will happen to me now? Well, Victor, we're running out of time. What will happen to him now? I've decided that I'll transfer his floor to myself. You're mercifully taking something from him for your own benefit. Listen. Are you taking me to my mama? We're about to go back to your mama, and she will take you home. You won't see monsters anymore, and your mama won't get mad at what you say. Deal? Yes.
It's all right now. Everything will be all right. Find peace inside yourself. Peace, yes. It's all right now. Be blessed, Shimon. Be healed. It's better now, isn't it? It's a miracle. Thank you. With all my heart. Shimon shares his name with the name of the greatest of Christ's apostles. And you wanted to drive Satan out of him. That's blasphemy. So say I, Grigory Yefimovich Rasputin. The man you betrayed, Judas. We have made the words of God into an instrument for our own gain. Made sacred temples into a vanity fair. Satan exists. And he is here today among us. But not in this small, defenseless boy I have just cured. It works through its earthly acolytes. It enters the minds of those unblemished by sin, and sows chaos there. It's time to stand against this. It's him, the wizard who wanted to hurt my son. Where are you going? Stop him! Evil takes root in each of us. We must be strong, because now we need a government of souls free from evil. In these dark times, we need a miracle of unity. Glory to Russia! Slava Rasi! <clears throat> Fuck you! He turned up with that wizard! Let us be strong in spirit. That is the only way we can defeat Satan. Down with traitors! 